Hey guys. Um, so seasons changed, or it's at least in the process, thank God. Um, and it's starting to get a little bit warmer, which has really, really tremendously helped me. I don't know about any of you guys, but I have seasonal depression. Um, doesn't help me want to get out of bed or really do anything or be active and stuff like that. And I kind of like tell people that I end up becoming like a bear and I'm like, just eat and try to hibernate as much as possible. Cause I really, really don't like the cold. My body temperature is like already super low, um, as is. So, um, I adhere to the cold, like very, very like too much like my hands and my feet are always cold in my nose so um i'm just much happier now like because the sun's out um and i'm more active and i'm you know being able to get up and actually do things i'm not sleeping till 10 anymore i'm like getting up at eight o'clock and it's just it's relieving like i don't feel like such a pos um because especially in recovery i mean at least for me and i feel like i've talked to a lot of people who have said this too you end up feeling like such a piece of shit a lot of times um, just because of the shit that you've done and stuff like that and you know um, because before I just felt like I was uh, I was just content in being depressed and just kind of like whatever it is what it is like I wasn't mad or upset and stuff like that and now I'm actually like going after the things that I want and like I have this drive again and that's just it's just great and I couldn't say that I wasn't happy but I'm not you know um, like I'm much happier now and I feel like my happiness is getting better like I'm starting to like be able to feel the things that I actually want to be feeling um, so I'm gonna be talking about a couple things the first thing I'm gonna talk about is probably a little touchy for some people and I understand because um, in AA they say that you shouldn't do certain things and you know I'm no longer the poster child for AA by any means I am um, not the perfect person I'm on my way to nine months sober I do not have a sponsor um, I've kind of left that to my higher power and being like, you know what, if whatever is meant to be is to be, uh, cause I just see, and this is my experience. I'm not trying to dog on anybody else's experience. This is a journey that I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. I need to figure out what works for me and what doesn't. Um, because I really don't want relapse being part of my story. Um, not to say that it couldn't be. So with that being said, I, um, I've been, I am the type of person where I, I'll go out, um, I'll go out dancing, things like that, and I'll have a non-alcoholic beer. Um, and I had a friend of mine actually tell me about this um, non-alcoholic wine, which is amazing, by the way, and I did try it. Um, it's this brand. There we go. That's the one that I've tried. It's the Chardonnay, and clearly there's still some in there. I tried it yesterday. I had a client come over. I was doing her hair. I was like, oh, you want to try this non-alcoholic wine with me? And I clearly didn't need to finish it like, you know, before. Um, tastes exactly like Chardonnay. So for anybody who's like testy because of like, um, of actually tasting certain things or whatever, don't do it then. Definitely, I would advise against it because it tastes exactly like it. Um, but for me, it's like, I like to be able to relax and unwind and feel like I'm treating myself without actually having the side effects. Um, because for me, um, I was chasing like a high or I was chasing the feeling of the avoiding or just like that euphoria that I was feeling like in my drunken state and then clearly I would drink too much and probably black out or do whatever the fuck it was or have to sleep or whatever it was um, you know for but for me like I've I have to say I really enjoyed it and I like the non-alcoholic beers and stuff like that when I go out um, and not because I because it's just a reminder like I'm getting that taste without getting the feeling because then I'm looking at the my surroundings and just seeing other people being becoming intoxicated and stuff like that where I'm still able to enjoy myself. Um, and I'm not saying that this is for everybody, you know, I'm just saying that this is what I've done and I'm not saying that it's working. So I'm just saying for right now, I'm still sober, tried a couple things. I do, I am gonna probably talk more, try some more other products and then talk more about them and stuff like that um, because not everybody stays sober just from AA, like other people stay sober and clean and they don't have to be in the program. Um, so, you know, everybody's different and you know, I just try to like the program says, take what I, what I can from it and leave the rest of it. Um, so yeah, I'm not one of those people who's not going to drink or drink or eat, um, penna ella vodka because there's vodka meat in it, even though it burns off. I just, I don't, it's not the taste. It's the feeling that I'm going after and I'm not trying to go after a feeling by, you know, drinking something non-alcoholic 
at least I'm coherent before. And I do try and I advise for everybody as much as possible that if I feel a certain way, there's been a couple times that I've made plans with friends who are drinkers and stuff like that. Um, and I'll know like beforehand that like I'll be te really, really testing myself if I go out because I feel a certain way and not towards them or whatever, but something that's going on in my life. Um, and I'll just bail. It's happened a couple times like where I just won't go because I'm too nervous and I don't want to test that too much. But if I'm feeling definitely reassured and I have confidence in myself that I know that I can go out and enjoy myself and not have to have a drink or do anything, then I'll do it. So that's all I have to say on that subject. But um, for anybody who wants to try, who's looking for something to try that's like non-alcoholic, um, so far this is the only wine that I've tried or whatever. But once again, and I really, really advise it. It's delicious. So if you do, if you're up for it and you want to try it, and even for those who are drinkers or whatever, but you just like to be able to taste something that's, but it's non-alcoholic, I definitely, I think, and I believe it's like award winning. It's won awards and stuff like that. So um and then um secondly i had a really good friend of mine send me some bracelets and um also bumper stickers and stuff like that and i'm not going to speak on the person that it's for i guess the there's a reason for it because i don't know the story and i don't know the person so it's not my place um but i have to say like just that's the content or the memorabilia is amazing because I believe that we really we have an epidemic going on here and I really want to try to like help and stop and get more people in recovery especially because um heroin's it's huge and it affects I I, can't, I have to say that there has to be at least one of if not all of us at this point one person has been affected by heroin in some sense um and it's scary you know like just to hear the stories and see the stories I've been hearing a lot of people going missing um, and that people don't know where their where their family or their friends are at that they know that they're users and stuff like that and you know just something that I could think of um, and I'm not big on social media I don't have Facebook but I do have Instagram um, if any of you guys want to follow me or whatever it's just namaste underscore underscore sober um, but I guess just putting it out there, putting it on social media, if you see friends and family, like, because the best way for people to get connected, that their family members are still alive and stuff like that, that they've seen them, is by social media. Um, and I guess, like, the best thing that I can think of in this situation is, and I know this is sad to say, but I guess if we could stop giving money to the homeless. Um, most homeless people are either addicts or schizophrenic or, like, had mental issues. Um, and by giving them money or allowing them to, you know, to continue to use and stuff like that because they're going to that's what they want it for i know for myself and i'm not you know this for everybody else but i try to give food or you know water or something like that like something that they're gonna to use um because money's like you are doing something but most likely they're gonna use it for booze or their drug of choice um but you know because i know it feels good to be able to give to them and stuff like that but they you know also need help and need assistance and being able to um, not use and stuff like that. But when you're down like that, I can, I can imagine that that's all you feel like you're worth. Um, so yeah, if anybody has, you know, um, if anybody knows of people that are missing and stuff like that, I guess just like try to put it out there for everybody, like just to send it. I know that this happened a couple of years ago. I had friends that lost somebody they couldn't find and he was uh, like out in his addiction and stuff like that <clears throat> and they posted it on Facebook and I think it was like only a couple hours later they were able to find him so if we could maybe do that and band together um, and um, secondly or secondly um, I also just you know what's going on with me is um, recently I've really been like paying a lot of attention to what's going on with me and my feelings and my fears and my insecurities and I'm not reacting I'm taking a step back and I'm really looking at certain things and being like all right you know and like what I would want to do because I generally and I have to say I want to react um, and I'm generally a reactor and it's so much quicker for me just to react and be spiteful and not to say that I haven't reacted I have in some senses um, but I'm not as much like I'm quick to be like, all right, you're feeling this way. So that's why you want to be like act this way. 
Um, cause I really, really do not like spite. I don't like spiteful people. I don't like people doing things out of spite. And I know that's just a natural human instinct, but I really try to avoid that at all costs. Um, and I have to say like, I'm proud of myself cause I'm actually really starting to accept like that I'm not perfect and that these are my faults. Um, and really trying to keep people astray from me who expect me to be perfect or expect certain things out of me. Like people who accept my faults as well. Um, my best friends like that have stuck by me in this, like I have loved them, you know, in their faults and who they are. And I, you know, I appreciate that they feel the same way towards me. Um, cause you know, especially in sobriety, my, one of my biggest problems is not knowing how to deal with my feelings. Like I'm at a loss and like, I'm just like, I feel a certain way and it's making, it's really bothering me. And I don't know what to do with it because before I would drink. Um, and now I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And I wasn't a crier as a drinker. And now being sober, I cry and I hate it because to most people that's a sign of weakness. And I'm kind of trying to adjust and realize that it's really not a sign of weakness. It's just like me releasing that feeling or those emotions at the time. And for me, just like what's really kind of helped is taking baths meditating, crying, or working out. Um, cause with the season and stuff like that, the last like couple days I've actually wor been working out and it's making me feel a little bit better. Um, like helping me just to like release some feelings and stuff like that. Uh, I also took like a time period where like I wasn't, um, reaching out to my higher power and it was like a couple nights ago. I was like, Holy crap. It's been a while. And I just like reached out to her and I was like, oh my God, please help me. Like I'm feeling a certain way. I'm feeling super overwhelmed and lost and stuff like that. And I think that's like her kind of guiding me in this motivation as well. Like just to, to get up and do things and be more active. Um, you know, because once again, and I have to keep reminding myself that everything happens for a reason and that I just need to trust my higher power. Um, and just keep going with it. I also, um, I've been astray in AA. I think I touched on that in the last video I made. Um, my excuse has kind of been like that I've been working, but that's really not it. I just haven't really had, haven't been happy with a lot of people in AA. And I went to a meeting on Monday um, and it was a really awesome meeting. And I'm really glad that I went and I did, I shared and I said that like, I haven't really been happy in AA or um, in therapy and stuff like that, which I'm still trying. So I'm not against it. I'm still trying. I just would like to kind of do things my way. Um, but I'm glad that I went because they were very, very, they were so much, they were so nice. Um, and if anybody's having trouble in meetings and stuff like that, um, especially anybody that's my age or younger, cause you want to be with it, but you just feel like you can't connect and stuff like that. A huge thing that I advise is go to older ones, go to old, like, I would sound messed up, but go to meetings with older people because they've probably been in sobriety for a very long period of time. They're already over all the drama and the BS and they're kind of stuck in their ways. And that's how I like it. They see it a certain way. They're kind of like, you know, they're not very judgmental, at least from what I've been experiencing. And it could be different. I am in Jersey. Who knows? <laughs> um, but that's really all. And that's all I wanted to share on and stuff like that. Um, and you know, and also for anybody who's on Sober Grid and you do watch these, um, for any of the guys, if you're noticing that I'm not inboxing you back, it is because I'm not interested. Um, I've kind of gotten over that whole naive thing, thinking that you're just trying to be my friend. I know you're not. So I'm sorry. Um, and for the ladies, I'm not trying to get with you or anything like that. I'm just trying to be friendly. Um, I want to be able to help and I think we could all help each other. Um, so if anybody, you know, make it known that like, I'm just trying to be your friend, um, for the guys, anybody, I'll definitely get back to you. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'm just, I'm honestly not interested. So that's all for me. Um, and I hope everybody's having a great sober day, sober and clean day. Um, other than that, namaste sober, and I hope you do too.